Okay, so in this video, we're going to model a food blender. Uh, go to new document, create, and we'll name down blender. I'm going to call it blender2 just because I'm another one in my save documents. Click OK. And I'm going to start this model on the top plane. So I want to right click on the top plane there when it's turned orange and hide the other planes. Look down directly on top of it, go to sketch, select the top plane as my sketch plane, and I'm going to come over here then to polygon. Click polygon, click to start, just click to stop. Now I have an option here, just move my mouse and it will change the number of sides on the polygon. I'm going to leave it at 8 at the moment and hit escape. And just where it says 8x there, I'm going to double click that and I'm going to change it to 6. So I want this to be a hexagon. And I'm going to come over to my relations up the top. Hit horizontal and I'm going to hit any line there. And just to have the polygon horizontally drawn there. So next I'm going to give a dimension on the side of each side of the hexagon is going to be 30 millimeters in length. And Next, I'm going to go to extrude, and I want to extrude that up eight millimeters, and click OK. So that's my first, or the start of the base bit there. I'm coming along again now. Go to sketch on the top of that hexagonal prism I'm after drawing. Look directly down on top of it, and I'm going to go and draw another polygon, the exact same as it. Drag it over there. You can see it's moving the sides again for me. So click to start and just click to stop it. Click again. So it has six sides. I want to make one of the sides again horizontal. And I want to give it a dimension of 30 millimeters. On the side again, so it'll be the exact same shape as the base we've already drawn. Just click OK. Now I want to put in a plane above the top surface there of the prism I have already. So come over here, hit plane. The first reference at the edge I want to reference it off is that top surface, and I want it to be 35 millimeters above that. So you can see now I have two planes. Come over to sketch. Pass it, select the sketch bit. I want to select this new plane that I'm after adding in. Click it, click the top of the dice over there, and I'm going to draw a polygon again. And the size of it this time is going to be 20 millimeters. Now, this line here looks horizontal. Okay, but just to be sure, I'm going to hit horizontal there in my relations and hit that line. Just to be absolutely sure that they are horizontal from the start. Click the green tick then here again. Go to loft. And the profiles I want to loft between is this profile here and that new profile there. And you can see it's pulled a loft between the two of them for me. And I'm going to click OK. Now, just to tidy up, I'm going to hide that first plane there. Now, what I'm going to do is on the front plane, I'm going to show that. I might hide the top plane here just to tidy things up. I'm going to look directly at the front there. I'm just going to drag out the front plane somewhere around there. And I'm going to go to sketch. On the front plane and I'm going to draw a line see as I drag over the mouse it snaps on to the origin there in the middle which is where I want it to be and I'm going to start a center line sketch there actually no I was going to show you one thing when I'm here I'm going to start the sketch in the wrong place I'm going to start it here draw it up out Come down at an angle here and across. 
Now I want that sketch to be stuck to the top of the, the base of the blender there. So what I'm going to do is come over here. First of all, I'm going to make that line horizontal. Then I'm going to go and give a coincident relation between that point and that line. See, it's snapped it down onto it for me. Now I'm going to give my dimensions. I want this line here to be 60 millimeters tall. I want the top line to be 35. And I want this baseline here to be 15. And now we're going to use the revolve feature. So we're going to spin that sketch around the line on that sketch. So over here beside extrude, we have revolve. And it's automatically picked up the face that I'm going to use to revolve. For the revolve axis here, I want to select that line. You can see it's spun that shape 360 degrees around the set to create the top corner of the blender. And I want it to be a new piece. So instead of add new, the green tick. Uh, to supply some appearances while I'm here, I want the base of the blender. I'm going to give it this kind of an orange color or red color. And the top of it, I'm going to give it kind of a blue color so it looks something like glass. Maybe that would be a bit better. I'll stick with that blue there. You can use whatever colors you want. And now I want to hollow out the inside of this funnel that I'm after on the top. So come over here to shell. The shell thickness is 2.5, you can leave that B. And the faces I want to remove is the top face there. Click OK and you can see now it has hollowed out the blender for me. Now that's basically it for this model. What we might do while I'm here is we will draw uh, some form of a control uh, knob on the front of it. So I'm going to go to sketch. The sketch pen I want to use is one of the front faces here. Okay. So on that face there, we'll practice drawing at an angle for a minute. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw a circle on that front face there, snap it onto a center line. And draw the circle, give it a dimension of, we would say, about 12 millimeters. I'm not too concerned where about the circle goes, whether it goes down near the base there or up higher. I'll leave that up to yourselves. And we're going to extrude that circle. You can see it's come out 25 millimeters there at the moment, but we won't do that. We'll go with about three. I'll make the new part. Click OK. And I'll sketch again on the front face of that there. And I will draw a corner rectangle. Just down here. Like so. I will extrude that out maybe two millimeters again. I'm going to click OK. Just give it a color now on the appearance tab. I give it a yellow. Click OK. Now we can practice some fillets while we're in here. Uh, the fillet feature or command at the top. We give it a fillet of one millimeter, and we will fill it the outside of the knob like that. Click OK, and we might change that to 0 0.5 millimeter, and we will fill it the top base of the control knob. Click OK. Hide that. So you can see, just getting used to the features here on Onshape, we've used an extrude for the base, we use the loft, we use the revolve, and an extrude here again for the control knob, just to get used to things. Okay, have a go with that.